Hi, um, I just had a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Yeah. Do you have a minute? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can I ask you calling? Uh, Christine. Christine. Uh, yeah, what's your name? Yeah. Sure, sure. What, what's your name? Oh, Brayden. Oh, hi. Okay. Hi. Well, um, I was, um, some witnesses told me about the website. They always are recommending it a lot, I guess. Um, and so I was like learning about some of the beliefs and things. And, um, I was noticing about the Holy Spirit that they said yeah. it's like electricity. It's like electricity? Yeah, it says that on the website in a couple of places. Okay. Um, are you just asking for like some like clarification? Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you about a couple of verses in scripture that Yeah. Um, like say for example, Romans eight twenty seven. It talks about the spirit, um, Paul's speaking of the spirit having a mind and praying for believers. Um, it says, and he who searches the hearts knows the spirit's mind because he prays for the saints according to the will of God. Yes. So if you want, Christine, um, normally what we do um, for people that want to learn about um, the Bible and just um, want to get familiar with the witnesses. Well, witnesses, I want to ask, I'm asking you a question. Yes, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I am offering you, we can actually have a witness come out um, to your house and we can actually sit down with you. and we can Oh, you oh no, I'm just, just, I mean, if you, uh, you know, I'd like to see how much you know if you could answer this question. If I would want to study with Jehovah's Witnesses, what what's your? I just wanted to get your own thought on a verse like that. How electricity could have a mind and intercede for the saints. Hey, Christina, can I can I get your address? We can if you want, we can definitely come down and talk to you about that. Like should... you said that you had time to answer a question. Well, we're about to have a meeting. In about... Well, but you didn't say that at first. I, I, that's why I asked you if you had time, and and you said yes. I, Christine, I uh -huh. I so I like literally just walked in to the Kingdom Hall. Oh, um, then you I shouldn't have to... said it. You should have said it was a bad time. Another one is First Corinthians twelve eleven, where it says the Spirit decides who to give various spiritual gifts to in the body of Christ. Yeah. Christine, um, I'm in all politeness, uh -huh. um. I if I did say that um this is a good time I do apologize. Oh okay. Oh no problem. Um, no problem. But, That's why I asked. I I didn't want to be interruptive or anything. Um a great website is called um jwfacts.com and God bless you guys. I'm I'm sorry. What is it called? Oh, jwfacts.com is really a great website. It has so much um quotes from watchtowers. It tells the history that they don't tell you and just really has is great. I hope okay. you're allowed to see different things. Sure, sure, sure. Uh -huh. um, great. jwfacts.com is not one of our websites. No, oh no, it's not. They they it includes many things that are not on JW org. Hello? Oh, that's that's interesting. It is. I mean, it really. You're not prevented from seeing certain things, are you? I'm. I'm sorry. What? Y you're not prevented from like looking at other information, are you? That would be. No. Oh, I'm good. Not, we're not prevented of it. I'm just letting you know that we we're not the ones that put that website up. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, it's always important to check out. You know, many views about things. You know, especially JW Facts uses a lot of scripture too. You know, sure, sure. Like so many, like so many witnesses don't even know what Russell was really predicting about 1914. I mean, can you believe that? They think he he was correct or something like that. It, you know, they hide that from people. What what his real predictions were in his books called Studies in the Scriptures. <clears throat> Christine, uh -huh. I hate I hate to be interruptive. Oh yeah, no I problem. Do, I do need to go. I get it. I get night. it. Okay. Responsibilities that I need to take care of. Okay. It was a pleasure talking you to too. you. You too. God um, bless. If you ever want somebody to come out to your house, we would love, absolutely love to sit down with you and just discuss any questions or any thoughts that you may have. But I do need to go now. Yeah. Okay. God bless you. Oh, thank you, Christine. See you have a great day. All you right. Too. I um I just had a question. I was wondering if you could help me with. Okay. Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, well, I just wanted to run this by you. It's a it's a quote from um
it's not on JW.org, but my my thought is about like the relative uh, value of the Bible as opposed to like other books. Um, it says uh, it's about a guy selling some books and he like that he wrote, and he says um, each one can be read in just fifteen minutes, and more genuine satisfaction and profitable pleasure derived therefrom in that length of time can be gotten than can be gotten from studying the Bible by yourself in a whole year. Okay. So that's like his view of his books that he's selling. I mean, what do you have any thought on that? Well, um, you know, right now we're having a special talk that's worldwide, um, and it's talking about you know the the hope that the Bible holds out for mankind. So it's you know there's a lot of people profiting by. You know, printing publications and that sort of stuff, but you know. Um, I mean, do you think that's Bible putting his on. own book up, up too high of a level? You know, I mean, if he he's almost saying like, if you were on a desert island, you should probably take his books instead of the Bible, right? <laughs> well, <clears throat> you know, the Bible is inspired by God, and so yeah, if you're trying to, if somebody's trying to interpret, you know, on their own. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses are worldwide right now. There's worldwide. There's, uh, are you in every country? Yes. Even like Saudi Arabia. Yes. Oh, okay. In places, in places that they're they're banned. You know, in Russia, they're being arrested for their for their religious belief. So that that all has to do with prophecy. You know that, you know, the king the kings of the earth are going to do battle with our creator because they, they want to have control. And so, um, you know, have you ever checked out the JW.org website? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So Uh, so anyway, uh, that's interesting, but, um, anyway, this was, um, Judge Rutherford who was selling his books and, um, you know, he was, he was, uh, leading, um, the organization and, and providing the spiritual food. Uh, from Jehovah, and, uh, you know, he, he he certainly seemed to have a high value on his own thoughts about his own books, sure, does, didn't sure. he? Yeah. Sure. It doesn't seem and a little arrogant. That does, was based, you know, that was based on the research that they had at that time. Yeah. But it's changed, it's changed through the generations because, you know, God's Word is more exacting now today than it ever has been. Because what? Because we're seeing prophecy... We're seeing prophecy fulfilled. Well, they always said that. They they've given different explanations of King of the North and and um, you know they always read in it, it into whatever was going on at the time. So that that's just their um, um, way. But uh, I find his they're, I find his they... I find his comments very arrogant. As it, it, you know it, it especially since well, he's selling know. he's selling too. So you know it, it's. Uh, and if you read his books, I, I mean, I don't think they were very profitable. They they were actually very misleading in many ways. And um, you know, well, they, I, were, they were exposing they were exposing Christianity. No, I'm the, talking about his Christendom. predictions. I'm talking about his prophet predictions oh, and things well, like that. You know, so yeah. You ever, read, you ever read where the light gets brighter and brighter? Uh, not if you're saying it came from Jehovah, which he did. I don't. Why would it get brighter then? It must mean it was from some other source. Russell claimed that too. So how could it how could it be brighter unless you're you're lying, right? I have to go. We're okay. In the of a well, thanks for talking. God bless you. Oh hi. Um, I just have a quick question. I was wondering if someone could help me with. Yeah. Um, do you have a minute? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, I was reading this article on JW.org about um, like how to be protected from misinformation. Did you see that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I was kind of surprised when they were quoting the Secretary General of the United Nations. In the same article? Yeah. Are you... I remember there was another article that they quoted that person. I can't remember who else. But do you mind? We're in the middle of a meeting. Oh, Can okay. I take it up and call you back after? Um, sure. 
but really, it's just it, it's just super quick. I'll just I'll just tell you what my question was. Is that I was just wondering if the United Nations is still the scarlet colored wild beast of Revelation, the disgusting thing. It seems like the odd source for them. <laughs> Have they changed their view on the United Nations? No, no, not in that way. I'd have to see the article to. Uh, oh, okay, it's right on the front page. Is it? Did they change it from being the scarlet colored wild beast, the disgusting thing? No. Oh, that seems like an odd source of information in an article about disinformation. Wouldn't wouldn't that entity be kind of you know deceptive and lying and demonic? Uh, yeah, but again, I'd have, I'd have okay, to... well that that's really all. You don't, you know I don't need to. I just maybe I'll find someone else that knows why if they've changed. Maybe they like the United Nations now. No, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a strange source to quote from in a watchtower that's spiritual food, you know. Okay, well, thanks anyways. God bless. Okay, have a good day. Oh, hi. Um, I just have a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a minute? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I was reading an article on JW.org, and um, it was about, well, like conspiracy theories and disinformation. Did you see that one? It's on the front page. I, I think so. I, okay. I didn't read, I, I, it's talking about conspiracy theories, right? Well, yeah, it has that. It just, oh, here's what it's called. It's called Protect Yourself from Misinformation. Yeah, okay. And I was just surprised to see a quotation um, they gave from the Secretary General of the United Nations. Right. Um, I thought they were against the United Nations. They're not... You know, oh, they're, oh, they're we're, not. Yeah, no, no, we're neutral. We're neutral. We're not against anything. Uh, we just recognize the UN as, uh, as you know, but not, a, you know what I mean? So it, it's okay to quote from them. Uh, just, just like if you quote from anybody. So the UN no doubt recognizes uh, false conspiracies, you know. So I, I don't know if that helps you what we're talking about. You said they're not against the UN? No, we're neutral in all stance. In other words, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't, we, we, we allow, we allow God to decide, you know. Is the UN, now, is the UN still the scarlet colored wild beast of revelation, the disgusting thing? Yes, it would be. So okay, but not, you're not against not, them. We're not, so, yeah, we're, in other words, we realize that uh, Jehovah and their Romans, it says that he allows them to stay in that position until he's ready to act. So are they controlled by the devil if they're the scarlet cover colored wild beast of revelation, the disgusting thing? Well, in the Bible, the Bible there, John, first John five nineteen, it says that the whole world is in the power of the wicked one. So to answer your question with the Bible scripture, yes, it would be being uh, controlled by Satan. I noticed that witnesses, like I've known some, and they will not even really hardly read anything outside of JW.org. And and JW.org's quoting the United Nations. Could Can they read things that uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations uh, Rights um, would, I, I mean, <laughs> I, I just yeah, I don't yeah, get we, it. We can, I I don't get it. We can read, but we have to use discernment. No, I'm I'm saying a, I'm saying the ones I know they literally won't read anything else. So I, I have yeah, to there's, believe there's some I kind of. I there's some that just feel. No, there's uh, many. I think yeah, we, no, I think because I, it's I, I think it's because like of type of things like um, recently the governing body guy said uh, stick with what we have authorized you'll be safe, implying it's dangerous to read other things. That's probably why that he just said it in a kind of roundabout, sly way, you know? Uh, what, what's your name? Christine, what's your name? Christine, my name's Jay. Uh, okay. Uh, are, you, are you interested in maybe studying the Bible? So no, I'm just, I was wanting to know, basically I was wanting to know if they had um, change their view that the UN is the scarlet colored wild beast of revelation, the disgusting thing. I mean, I know every, probably you maybe even know that by now that they were uh, associated with the United Nations as a non-governmental organization for 10 years. 
while they were saying that. Yeah. All right, well. Did you ever um, hear that? Uh, hear what now? About their UN association as an NGO? No, never heard of that. Okay, just Google Watchtower United Nations. You can see the um, official right. le letters and documents about it. Yeah. Okay. Are, uh, are you gonna? Thank you, Christine. I, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll look that up. Hey, thanks for being so but, nice. All right. Okay, you, God bless you. Have a good day. Okay, bye.